everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are here in Dusseldorf, Germany at the world's largest RV show to bring you some fantastic RVs. Today, we are taking a look at Niesmann and Bischoff, which is a division of Thor Industries of their luxury Class A lineup. We are gonna take a look at all four models that they have here at the RV show, and we're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video today. I am super excited. Guys, we are here in Dusseldorf, Germany at the World's Largest RV Show to bring you some of the best RVs in the entire world. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea. Hey everybody. Bright and early in the morning. Very bright and early this morning, you guys. I am super excited to see this. Uh, I thank you uh, to everybody here at Niesman and Bischoff yes. for accommodating us and letting us see these beautiful motorhomes. Especially kind of like VIP, very, very yes, early. Yes, very hospitable. So uh, without further ado, let's begin. Again. All right. So with us is Philip. Yeah. How are you? I, I'm and, fine. Wait, are you both Philip? Yes. Both oh, Philip. Yeah. Philip and Philip. <laughs> so who is Niesman and Bischoff? Niesman and Bischoff is a small premium manufacturer of motorhomes located okay. in the rest of Germany. Nice. Very nice. Well, tell us a little bit about this product. When we are going on the outside, always have to start with our thread logo. Okay. That's the uh, lily of the city where we are come from. Oh, okay. So that we are, uh, can show that we are located, that we are close to our hometown. Yes. yes. Very good. And then we have to try to make a very automotive yes. look from the outside. That you can always see in this, uh, that you always know. If someone is from behind, you can see yes. the LED lights, the daylight and the integrated. And then right here, I see mobile eye collision mitigation system. Exactly. Very nice. Oh, yes. Let us go on. One of the. That's one thing. I will close to do it because then you can see that we have one shaped long skirt on the side. No extra holes in the side. Wow. The door, just to get a more clean look. Absolutely. And the keys unlocked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love how the baggage doors swing up like that. Yeah. Oh, they're thank like cross flaps. Oh, wow. Very cool. big. Wow, look at that. Just put, pull it out. Look at that. So that you have more than enough space. Underneath. That is very yes. nice. Very cool. And then coming on down here, Andrea, if you don't mind, going on this for everybody who's interested. And then none of your units have slides, correct? Not, it's, no. uh, it's not so usual in Germany. Yes. So. You come from America? Yes. I think every... We need slides. We need <laughs> units. I got like six slides on everything. You don't need any slides. When we are going inside, you can see that they are not necessary. <laughs> right here, another slide yeah, out. That's the next slide out. Wow. Very cool. Yeah. And then everybody's doing these garages, which I love. This is a full-sized um, moped here. Yeah, there's, exactly. Yeah, there's another slide out tray there. Slide out trailer there, you have the option to have a slide out over there. And behind those, there are all the electrical compartments. Okay. Where we have the batteries, or oh no, the batteries are a little bit up there. They are hidden, but here you can have the direct connection to the electric main system. If wow. you have to change a fuse or something like that, that's pretty easy access. Yeah, very good. Very cool. And the fact that an actual moped fits in here. Now, how do you get it in? Do you have to ride it in? Uh, you can pull it, uh, push it in. Push it in. Okay, yeah, good. Have a small ramp here. Over yes. There. Small ramp oh. Over there. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Yes. Wow. That's pretty cool. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> very, very cool. Can we see the inside? Of course, yes. Perfect. And we, before we go inside, we have one other addition. What was that? It is that we have shown, uh, can show you what makes a, definitely a difference to the other motorhomes that we have is that we can use windows made of real glass. Yeah. And you're saying most manufacturers are using plastic? Yeah, we are also using them on the lighter motorhomes. On the what? The lighter. The lighter. The lighter. Okay. Because we, here in Europe we have the uh, main issue that, the, that we have three different classes for the, for the licenses. That's 3.5 tons, 7.5 tons and then everything on top. Yes. And if you are going on the lighter motorhomes, then you have to choose uh, where you can save the weight. Now, 
I went to the campground yesterday because yeah. that's what we do. <laughs> we got to experience Europe. And what somebody was telling me was the heavier driver's license people mm -hmm. are all older people. And Almost the younger that. people are have the smaller ones. Yeah. So your goal is to sell as many of these and then go lighter, lighter, and lighter. Lighter and lighter and lighter, especially for the younger people that we get new customers there. Yes, all the new customers. So if you're a millennial, you need a lightweight one. <laughs> and then how much is this? <laughs> this is 7.49 ton. Yeah, you have to... No, uh, how much? How much? How many how euros? Much? 341,000 of euros. Oh, okay. Not bad at all. <laughs> Check out the inside. Okay. Wow. Walk up here. Look at the cabinetry. Very pretty. Oh, that's cute. Yes. Oh, we walk through? Yes. Oh, I love the kitchen already. <laughs> okay, look at this. This is quite different from some of the ones I've seen already. I, I can't believe there's no slides in here. It's very spacious for no right. slides. Right, and it's definitely, you can definitely feel how rich it feels. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Definitely, it, it's kind of like a Mercedes-Benz motorhomes, you know? A little bit darker colors, a little bit higher end feel and finish. So tell us a little bit about the chassis. Yeah, about the chassis. Um, what makes us different with the chassis is we are using the Iveco chassis uh, and the Iveco original dashboard. Most of our, the competitors in the market, uh, they're using their own dashboard. Okay. We are using the Iveco dashboard because we are the only ones who uh, can use the airbag. Airbag. Yeah. For oh, as a safety okay. feature. Yes. Good. Yeah. Now, now you said most people are using what? Their own. Their own? Dashboards. Their own. It's on a little bit different. Most companies. You have more space here in the front. Okay. And they have lesser cars. But we are just telling us we like the yep. look of it. Absolutely. Yes. Because they have a new automotive look in the last few years. It really does. That's what I was thinking, looking yeah. at it. Yeah. And the safety features as well. Yeah. And then over here we have... Over here. I love how all European RVs are doing this. I've been saying this for years in America. They always give you a big dinette and one sofa. Give me two sofas. <laughs> And have it make a dinette. So how yeah. does this work? Look oh, at that. look at that! Yeah, you have the option. You can slide Genius. the table. Yes. Then we have your wheel, additional wheel to get it more stable. Okay. Then and also we have the option. You can change the position yes. the way you want to have it. And Just. the fact, you know, and so in America the seats swivel around, to become mm -hmm. part of the living area, but it's not like it's a part of the living area. They just swivel around. Where this actually feels like we are all sitting at a round table which yeah. is very nice just the idea that it should be part of it yes because we have so much space above yes yeah in the nice storage the here thank you good cabinetry here then andrea shows his kitchen oh, oh my I goodness think i have to show you one more thing uh oh, uh -oh, uh -oh <laughs> here we go there's still something hidden yes i will show it to you i love uh, the, oh, the we love surprises they, they love surprises <laughs> So, oh, there it is. Here was the TV. Oh, I was wondering. I was looking behind me, and I'm like, "Where's the TV?" Very nice. I like that. Just the whole setup right here. Yes. Look, the remote's even behind it, so wow. you don't lose it. So it's kind of on a televator, what we would call it. Wow, Very and it swivels. Cool. Very nice. Now this would drop down to make a bed if you needed it, no. right? No, no okay. It's not the option for the bed, but we can uh, change the position of the cushion so that it's a complete seat. And oh. you have here two additional seat beds. Oh, okay. oh very nice. <laughs> yes. Please show us. Wow. Yeah. No, wait. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We have an additional part over here. Wow. So that you can get a complete seat here. If you would take somebody with you. And then they're facing that way, so you're yes. not Yes, exactly. Sick. You know, that's like a big thing that's not in America right. either. You know, if you're in the back of the motorhome, oh, good luck. Yeah, you know, <laughs> so that's very, very cool. Genius. Cool, show us this kitchen, Andrea. Okay, very pretty kitchen. I just want to open these. You gotta press down, open up. Very nice storage. Wow. Like the Euro cabinetry. I like the colors in here. I'm not normally a fan of dark, but it's very cute. Okay. 
privacy shades here. Now, do these yeah. open or is yeah. it just decoration? Nope, it comes off. Oh. <laughs> Another surprise. I love that. And what is wow. that? A spice rack? No, Coffee. that's the extractor hood. The what? Coffee extractor hood? Huh? Just to pull up the the smell file while cooking. Oh, like a steam, like a yeah. like our oven. The oh, okay, steam, cool. Uh, what do you call it. I forget. Yes. Or the roof range or whatever. Roof range. Yeah. Oh my God. Hood range. Yes. But, oh, one induction, two gas burner. Yes. Cooktop. Very nice. Look at these. I oh, love that. Adorable. And I love the pegs. Yes. So and smart. Clothes? Of course. Of course. Of course. Nice. And that's nice, nice looking here. cabinetry. Yes, it is. It's very different from up top. Very cute. What's this down here? <gasps> oh, <Yeah>. wow. <laughs> Beautiful. Like the sink. Very cute. They give you a cutting board here. Wow. Rectangle sink, and then um, what's it? Is this? Oh, more, more, storage. more storage. Okay, what's behind us? Refrigerator. Is it a storage? Oh, <laughs> wow. Yep. Beautiful. Well, wait. Where's your coffee machine? <laughs> At the moment, it's inside here. No. Nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Always room for the coffee machine. Yes. We got to start doing that. So we got Fridge a nice refrigerator and what we got here. Is that looks like, that's like a convection microwave kind of. Just like and, and they're all enclosed Good with the- Good uh, size too. I yeah. mean, I've seen smaller on most of the motor homes, but that's a great size. Some storage down there. Yeah. Let's see, we got more storage in here. No, that's a yeah. Oh. What? Wardrobe. Oh, very nice. And open both sides. Yes, I love it. Look at there's drawers here. Oh yeah. Lovely. Very very Beautiful. nice. Oh love my. Love the shower. Yeah, look how big the shower is. This is fantastic. Look. We got plenty of width, depth, height. And this is a rain shower. Yes. I mean, you can't beat that. With this glass <laughs> door here. Very cool. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, we got a split bath here. I love this sink. Yes. Very cute. And then we've got, oh, uh-oh. Just push, push it in the middle. Oh, there yeah. we go. I can't get it open. <laughs> Do it again. There we there go. There you go. Nice, nice medicine cabinet. Yes. Very pretty. Got a shelf here. And then underneath you got some drawers. Very nice. Good space. And then I believe behind here is probably the toilet, right? Okay. Oh. oh, look. Uh -oh. Wow. Oh my goodness. So much storage already. Yeah. Very nice. Very, very nice. He has an additional door that's a little bit hidden. Oh, you're like, <laughs> oh, go, I go. like that. So I was about to say, um, <laughs> there is no door to the yeah. toilet. I like how it's like hiding. I didn't even know that. I could porcelain. Of course. So this would not get a prime pooping position because no. of this door. Okay. But that's not the door to the bathroom. That's just the door to the shower and toilet. That's the door to the bathroom. And that's the door to the bathroom. So Andrea, this is a prime pooping position. Bing. Great way wow. to start the day. And then we do have a pocket door here, yep. like Matt said. Step up, you got a two drawers there. Yep. Nice step bed. Up here. Very, very nice. Very nice. Look at the storage all Storage around. all above. Very good. See, I really love these. I wish they would do this more in our motorhomes. Right, right. Have them open more. Got a TV there. Love it. Very, very nice. And then you said you have two others that are smaller? Yes, exactly. Great. Well, before we take a look at them, Andrea, we got to give a big shout out to Brooklyn Bedding. Matt's RV Reviews European Edition is proudly sponsored by Brooklyn Bedding, which is RVMattress.com. RVMattress.com made this once in a lifetime trip come true. They are 100% why we were able to bring you Matt's RV Reviews Europe Edition. Join us after the review as we bring you along the London Transportation Museum. And if you need a new mattress for your RV, search no further than rvmattress.com backslash Matt. Here are the three best mattresses they have to offer. The first being the Dream Foam Hybrid, which is universal comfort with cooling on contact. Next is the Signature Hybrid, which is their best seller. It is patented superior sleep at a factory direct price or my personal favorite, which is the Brooklyn Aurora Lux. Best in class cooling technology in a premium luxury hybrid. Best part about it, it is free shipping. You get a 120 night sleep trial guaranteed and they are 100% made in the USA. All you have to do is take it out of the box, 
lay it out and watch it expand. Make sure you check out my video on all the different types of mattresses. I will link that video at the end of this video and in the description below. Click her link down below and use promo code MATT for 20% off. And again, big special thanks to rvmattress.com backslash MATT. Let's continue the video. Wow. <laughs> Instant that privacy. I love that. Amazing. The glass, if you guys didn't notice, the glass was just fogged and now it's completely see-through. I love that. That is really, really cool. So something about the German people, they don't like to tell us stuff. They like to surprise us. Yes. Every manufacturer is <laughs> doing that. They're like, but wait, there's more. I love that. We Anything love other surprises in here? The only last thing that we have is that we have integrated the speakers inside the lights. Nice. Yes, so that you got a good nice surround sound. Nice touch. Yes. And don't see any speakers. You know, Very we nice. were in one motorhome and I think they might have designed it this way, but I didn't like it. It was a $2 million motorhome and the speakers were all big and boxy. Mm -hmm. And I to I much prefer that. Yeah, it just And again, a lot maybe nicer. the customer ordered it that way, I don't know. But this is very, very nice. And also take a look on the inside. That's yeah. an acoustic felt. Wow. Okay. Just to get a better sound here in the system. Oh. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Very cool. Amazing. So yes. now this is your smallest one? Smallest one? Or should we go first the differences to the yes. second player? Yes, we, we can walk real quick into That's this one. Complete complete. Uh, okay. Up. Oh, no. then we we'll go to the smallest, smallest one. one. We can do this later. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the smallest one. Yes. Um, this is the one where we started the idea with our uh, design. Oh, okay. Because so right before original. we were a little bit more classic, like the other ones, more light, lighter wood and everything else. And in this, the Ice Move is our newest product in the complete system because it was introduced in 2020. And this is 165. Yeah. Or is the it? price is a little bit less. No, that's the price. It's all the options, and that's the base price. Oh, okay, very nice. Yeah. Good, good, good. And then on the outside, very similar, just a little bit yeah. smaller. Still a garage. Wow. No, it's still a garage. This is plastic windows. Yep, yep. Double insulation. They have the small air cushion inside. Now is the. Is this one? Does this qualify for being lighter than that yeah, one? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Perfect. We can have this in 3.5 tons. Okay. Good. So that even the people, the younger people, the uh, with a new driver license can drive it without any. You know what it is in America? No. Twenty six thousand pounds. Twenty six thousand pounds. And you can drive no problem. <laughs> 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 Very nice. Cool. Anything special on the outside that's yeah. not on that one? Uh. No, nothing really, because it's everything is a little bit smaller, what you yes. can see over here. We don't have the big flaps on the side. Oh, okay. We just have here, uh, uh, it's easier to show you on the left side. As you can see here, the so, form is the same. Yep. The same, you have the options that you can choose if you have your carbon, or you can have it in orange and green. Yeah, it's funny because um, that's called the flare. Doesn't it kind of look like a Fortis? Yes. It, you know, very much. Oh, I see. Yes, okay. Oh, boxes, you I like the side that. Can put on and the cables or something like that that you need. Yes. Wow. Very cool. True, my instant hot tankless water heater. Yeah. Now, what's crazy, Andrea? Is everybody in Europe. Cassette. Has a cassette. Right. So when I went to the campground, I was waiting for the taxi. I'm like, man, it kind of stinks over here, because everybody was taking their cassettes and dumping them out, and it was very, it was very just different. Yes. But you also have the possibility, I think it's a, uh, quite unique in a small, uh, in a lighter range. Yeah. That you can have a toilet tank with 120 liter. Oh, wow. So okay. that you don't have to cast it. So there is people that manufacture I've, I've that? I've seen on a few oh, bigger, okay. bigger motor homes that they had yeah, no cassettes. Nice. But very, very, very cool. I really like this. You just said that was your lily or your leaf? Yeah, yeah our lily. That's beautiful. <laughs> I love flowers. Okay. okay. Love this the door. This one's definitely smaller. Yes. Oh, look. But the same concept in here in the front. Yeah. I'm really liking yeah, what Yeah, you get a doing. smaller size, but you're definitely not losing on quality. That's for sure. No. Very, very nice. I love this. I wish we would have more of these in ours. 
So it's very well. Like if they designed oh, the, the Access or Vegas like these, I mean, they would sell very, oh, very yeah, well. Oh yeah, definitely. Check it out. All right, I'm gonna just show this the is kitchen all, this really is all quick. The same, Andrea. So it's yeah, really the same. Okay. Like in the clear, we have the same seat system for uh, nice bathroom, for the cute sink. Here's a bed hidden. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll show that in a second. This must be the shower in here too. You put a bit of sound. This yes. is a sofa. Now the so shower's this, in here too, right? It's yeah, right here. Exactly. Wow. Wow. And look, all that comes. Oh, <laughs> unbelievable. And there's your shower head right there where the sink was. Very cool. And then Andrea. Yes. Right over here, we do have a bunk over the cab. Okay. Can can you? Yeah, of course. We haven't seen one yet that's been up. <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah. How easy they swivel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they swivel easy, but <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Wow. Very okay. Cool. That was really fast. Bada Look. bing, bada boom. <laughs> I love that. I love how you guys have your safety netting all the way around like that yes. for privacy. And for an additional net. <laughs> nice. And then as Andrea was showing you, this is very cool how they're doing it like this. And then... And then you have your bath, your sink and toilet. It is porcelain. I'm not going to fail it. I'm not going to pass it. It's very tight and I'm a little elevated. But the fact that the wall did that shift, you know what I'm saying? Instead of it being all in one right, like in our Right, right. Pretty, pretty cool. I right. really do like that. Look at this bed. Yes. It steps up. I bet you there's storage under that one. Very cool. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Yes. Wow. It's the same on the other side. Love it. Wow. And then it flips just like that. Very nice cabinetry all the way around. And if you want to have a little bit more privacy, you're just moving the shelf there. Oh, oh. my goodness. Wow. Oh, yep. And then there's a pocket door right here. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Amazing. 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 Wow. Now, do these <laughs> all have AC units or no? Uh, it's possible. Then we have one AC here in the middle instead of the okay. van. Now, are most people getting ACs or no? Oh, most of them get them. Okay, in, good. In this motorhome, it's a question of the weight. Ah, okay. Yeah. And there's the gas exactly. top. Oh, that way. Yeah. So you can put it <gasps> oh, over here. Oh, counter extension. Wow. Oh my Rick goodness. Wow. Look at this. It just makes sense. Yeah. How do you say it just makes sense in German? Das macht einfach Sinn. Thank you. I couldn't even do that. <laughs> say it again. Das macht Sinn. You know. Das macht Sinn. Yeah. Wow. What we need to do, Andre, we need to make a shirt for people to wear at RV shows that says that in German, so nobody knows that we're offending them, <laughs> but it, it just makes sense, you know? That's funny. I love that. Anything I... else special about the little one? Yes, the fridge. <gasps> oh. oh, I thought you couldn't surprise me anymore, but look at this. Wow. Incredible. Wow. Wow. Very, very nice. You know, we see RVs constantly, like in our country. We do a video every day. Mm -hmm. And so we've seen them all. But this is just blowing us away. <laughs> well, well, not only that, yesterday, and it's no disrespect, we spent the day in building five, yep. which is Volkner's, Dumbbells, all, um, right. Yeah. But yet, this is still amazing, amazing. me, which is amazing, you know? In, in America, once you're at the, you know, class $100,000 price range or whatever, mm -hmm. it sometimes does get tedious mm -hmm. because it's all the same. Where right. this, everybody is so unique. It's absolutely fantastic. Great. And we got another one to take a look at. Love it. Look at this. Look at this. I had no idea that was there. And also, we have electrical central locking for everything. So while driving that everything is locked <gasps> oh yeah oh we need that. nice we've had that before yeah <laughs> <laughs> All oh right. wow andrea mm -hmm. now we got to take a look at the final one that they have to offer that's our classic edition perfect because uh, it looks a little bit more like the models we had before okay we are building this like i like it like okay this. 
Yeah. I like the tag axle. I like how long it is. I like that gray color. You know what you need? You need a little bit of orange on there. Yeah. Gray and orange, I think, looks good. <laughs> no. Oh my God, Andrea. Look at these tires. They're the Michelins. 225-75 R16 CP. Very nice. Okay, so we must know anything different on the outside with this one. No. Okay. Any extra difference? Feels Good. Still the same idea. It was the skirt. I don't think I could take any more surprises so early <laughs> in the morning. Yeah, not that many surprises inside. You know, in our country, it's 3 a.m. right now, so we're, we're, we're not all here right now. Here's some of the specs. And again, tag axle, which does make the difference. And uh, the garage. Very, very nice. We're in the back. Yeah. I'm going to get a back look at here. Now, I don't see a backup camera. Are you hiding it somewhere? What are you looking for? A camera. A camera. Oh! Behind the <laughs> okay. Very nice. But that's on that we have on all the... Bottom. Very nice. This is very automotive design. Yes, definitely. I hate saying it because it sounds so, like, um, cliche, but it truly is German engineering. Yes. Very nice. Genius. Very cool. Okay. Oh, yeah. I like the lighter colors in here. Okay. Same kind of setup here. The dinette. We got the kitchen. Looks like we got a round sink. Okay. The stove. LED lights. I like the lighter wood too. And then we got these big, oh my goodness. Wow, Very look at nice. this. Wait, is that the coffee maker? Very <laughs> nice, you Espresso. always have to have, ha have to have it. And if you need to squeeze, just. <gasps> oh oh my gosh. And that you don't lose all the space behind it. We have here the whole wow. capsules. Wow. <laughs> wow. And then Andre, look at the glass cover here. I like it. You can have just one open or both open. Right, right. Which See? Just... And it's so... not just standing there. Yes. Like... Just makes sense. This does make sense. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very, Very pretty. Nice. Look at this. Very pretty. Soft clothes, of course. Wow. Yeah. And then we got the what toaster oven, and yep. then this Dometic refrigerator. I do know. Yep. yep. Does it open both ways? It sure yep. does. Oh, it's just crazy, <laughs> right? And then the TV's right there. Yep. Looks like that does something yep. fancy. Okay. <gasps> Look at that. That's my son. <laughs> That's my son. I like it. And then what do we got Beautiful. going on back here? Beautiful bathroom. Look at this. Really cute corner sink. Let's see, we got medicine cabinet here. Yes. Very pretty. I like this. It's very cute. And then cute. this one has, you know what's funny oh, because- look, they open this way. It's this uh, an individual me. shower, but I didn't mind the other one. Wow. Good size. It's for radius being though. A radius. It is radius. Matt, I think that's the toilet. Yes. Oh, back here. Back. You can see how very spacious it is. Nice cabinetry all above. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh, look. oh, it just fits perfect. Look at this. Okay. Okay. You got to check this toilet out. Wow. See again, like the door, but but you don't do it like that. You close that door. Right. You can have um, this all closed off. So they're doing it the way they designed it. So Andre, I'm gonna give it to you. And this is a prime poop position. Bing. See if they meant it for the door to be closed while you're doing it, then I would have failed it. But the fact that they like intentionally designed it that way. Wow. It's very very nice. I bet you. Oh, Philip. Yes, is please. this prepped for a combo washer dryer or is that just no, okay it's just a wardrobe nice wardrobe though good closet but you only space. can see here we use a different kind of ac an okay. underfloor ac and that's the outlet ah. Ah. Oh, yeah for the sleeping area look at this the difference between it being so dark is having that right there for this yeah. area and look at the detail on this the lighting and then the bed yes you got the steps up inside here i like oh my goodness the curtain balances are so cute Look at those, everyone. 
Wow, storage all around. Very nice. And then anything else different up here? I see a different type of bed. Different type of bed. Yep. The table is a little bit different. Oh. oh. oh my. <laughs> <laughs> that is wow. so funny. I love it. I love it. Very, very cool. Well, it looks like the uh, the competition was taking a look at your mode. Oh. <laughs> so uh, let's go take a look at it now. So and we'll wrap up the video. Now, the last one is a flare as well, but he said that there's just some little differences that we want to take a look at. Yeah. Yeah, please. Okay. I can't believe none of these have slides. It's like crazy how, yeah, how spacious, spacious it, it feels. Feel. Yep. Very, very nice. I like the light colored wood yeah. a lot. Yeah, so you said light colored wood. Light colored wood. We have UD front bed. Oh, and this one does, yep, okay. Yeah. And also a different kind of fridge. Oh. And so what's that there? It's the second fridge. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. Just amazing. Also a small freezing compartment. Yes. Did you get the ice for the freezing? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Then you get this extra <gasps> wardrobe. Oh my goodness. Wow. wow. That was hiding. Yeah. That's great. And then here. Uh, oh, yeah. Yep. Oh my goodness. Wow. Well, and everything for the technical is open. Wow. Um, yeah. Okay. Wow. Yes. And you also have the. Uh, for the uh, privacy blind for the for the phone. The lovely. One. Yes. Very, very uh, awesome. Unbelievable. And then here it looks like you got some more storage. Yep. Another wardrobe. Okay, oh, LED nice. lights. I love this sink. Yeah, add the different sink, sorry. Oh, yeah. different sink. Look at that. Nice medicine cabinet. Three drawers down here too. Wow. You guys really know how to do storage. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I guess the shower is like the other one. We have this glass. Yep, yeah, you pull amazing. that. And then let's see. Amazing. I love the shower. shower. Yeah. Lots of room, plenty of space. Even right here, Andrea, on this, like it has the water right. drain back in. So it's not sitting. And I love that table slide system. So that you can see how the bed looks inside here. Oh, okay. Very cool. Even bigger. And oh, you can sit wow. up in it. Yes. Yeah. Very, wow. very cool. I'm going to show the toilet mount right yes, here. Look at this. Storage behind. See, look at that. And then I bet you there's that glass door right there, too. Yeah. So that blocks it off. It's in there. I don't know how to do it. Yeah, it's a uh, push to open. Just push uh, it a little bit. Just like that. Very, yeah. very uh, cool. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, and then you got steps up right there. And this does have a pocket door as well to close that off. Uh, just unbelievable. I mean. A absolutely amazing. <laughs> Philip, thank you so much for uh, yeah, taking the time, welcome. especially early in the morning, to show us all these RVs. Anything you want to say to everybody who's watching? Just enjoy our motor homes. Yes. Please take a look at it. Come to us, visit us. Maybe in the future. I know it's a wide trip. <laughs> yes, yes. We will link their website down in the description below for everybody to check out. And Andrea, anything you want to say? Yes, thank you everybody here at Nishman Bischoff for uh, accommodating us and just showing us these beautiful motor homes. Thank you, Patrick. Pleasure meeting you. Yes. And yeah, we're just yeah. having a great time. Sorry to make you all uh, wake up a little bit earlier to show <laughs> us. Fine. It was a and, pleasure to meet you. Yes, and again, guys, make sure you join us next weekend for another episode of Matt's RV Reviews Europe Edition. Big thank you to Brooklyn Bedding for making this all possible. Now, Andrea, it's now time to show everybody a little bit more of our Euro vacation. All right, so here's the first one. This is a trolley bus. Double-decker bus, she called it a hybrid bus. 
because the lines up top made it uh, go kind of like a light rail car today. Very cool. Really nice tires. Oh. Let's see if we can uh, go on in. Here's some pictures. And again, you guys, you guys already know this, but my dad used to build these, so we can't go in. Um, but you'll be able to get a good idea right there. Very nice. My dad actually used to build these buses. Maybe not this one, because it's definitely older, but he would definitely repair the older ones back in the day when he worked here. And I'm just like, just looking at all the pictures, being like, man, I, like obviously these are too old, these are from the 30s. But if I see any pictures from like the 70s, I'm definitely gonna be stopping for a minute and taking a good look. So here's next. This is more like a trolley train. And then here, this is one of the oldest ones out there. Crazy how they built these so long ago. Right. Get the lights on. Oh man. This is definitely one of the coolest museums we've been to in London. Oh, got some narrow steps here. Oh, man. Wow. Oh, and they scared. They, they look very real in there. Wow. Amazing. All right, so next, this one has been definitely beautifully repainted, but I imagine it's all original. And then look at this, very nice wheels. Mm. Made in England, Dunlap wheels. Very, very cool. First, kind of first generation bus. Here we go, 1908. Wow, look at the steps and everything. Very nice. Excuse me. Wow. All right, then we have this double-decker bus. This one seems like it's from, I think it's like a 1947. And then that one there, they still have one of those operating today that you can actually ride in London. These are very cool. It's a 1954 type. And again, my dad was just born, but you never know you know, when they were 20 years old, he was 20 years old, these were 20 years old. So you never know, man, I mean, there's somebody in that picture. You never know, my dad had to be in one, but it's definitely a needle in a haystack. Hey. I'm almost done. I'm inside if you guys wanna come in, or I'm almost done. It's up to you. Okay, I'll get you. All right, guys, we are here at the London Transportation Museum in London, England. And you guys might think, oh, who wants to go to a museum? One. Who wants to go to a transportation museum, too? But let me tell you, well, this is comparable to the Henry Ford Museum. It's just very cool, 
automotive history and I thought it would work very well with this. Cool. Jen, you feeling better? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, hopefully once you see a bus, you will. Now, for those of you who don't know, my dad is from London, England, and he used to build the buses here. And so what would be really cool, he built them in like the 70s and in, into the 80s. And so what would be really cool is, you know, obviously there's pictures of everybody and everything. And if we saw a picture, wouldn't that be like legendary? I would. That would be like a needle in a haystack. Like for an example, that's, this guy does not know he's here. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, all we need is one of those. Right. Just one. So if you see a good looking British man who must be a Foxcroft, let, let us know. <laughs> okay, so we just got done looking at this yellow bus. And now here's the red one. Oh, here we go. Hello, governor. See, look, they still had these seat styles. So we've been riding the trains and the buses. We much prefer these seats in the front. Well, what were they called? Seats that like... Oh, like the face each other? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it just makes it a better experience for us. Mm -hmm. You coming upstairs? Oh. This is crazy. Oh, wow. This is just the way it was, freaking. 50, 60, 70 years ago. This is the bus we ate our uh, yeah. first lunch at. Yeah, first dinner. First dinner. Crazy. And you know what I'm not seeing in here? <laughs> Air conditioning. I know. I don't know what we'd do if we ever got transported back in. <laughs> right. All right, well, the game is you got the balls, you got to get it into the right right color. Okay. Whoever gets the most colors is the winner. Okay. So you see how you have to, but oh, you got to do go. it fast. Why? That's another try. Oh, there you so go. You, that was just by luck. That right? was by luck. What's that? What's that? That's, that's a train as well. Oh. Excuse me. So these are the years that my dad worked. Oh, really? And it's just like, man, you know, every picture's like, is it him? Is it him? Right. You know? Because again, it shows you that they've taken pictures. little bonus look at the trains that are upstairs very very cool a lot different than the trains that they have now oh. it's amazing their train landscape compared to um america's train landscape oh. hello ladies Anything from anything from the trolley? Oh, let's go in. This isn't bad. Be bad if see they probably fit like eight people in here. Bella. Bella. Yes. Come on to the train. What do you think? It's cool. Right. I mean, for a hundred years ago, this must have been riding in style. Right. Hold this for me, Miss Bella. Thank you, ma'am. Well, guys, that's it. That's just a quick little tour 
of what the London Transportation Museum, that is just a quick little tour of what the London Transportation Museum has to offer. By far one of my favorite museums in the entirety of London. Make sure you guys check it out. Thank you guys so much for checking out another episode of Matt's RV Reviews European Edition. Thank you to RVMattress.com. Click the link, buy a mattress. And if you guys want to see more Matt's RV Reviews Europe Edition, join us again next weekend for another exciting review.